Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more, uh, ooh, jeez, Crafty Survivors. I, how do I even, who do I even play as here? I have a good shot with, eh, let's go with the seamstress. So they've added the farmer to the game, but I have to unlock her, so we're gonna see if I can do exactly that in this video. Unfortunately, I don't know, my track record in the forest is a little dodgy. Uh, it's, area hurts. I might actually see if I can go with an odd build with the seamstress this time around. Maybe not. That's tough. Extra charge to style and substance, increase attack speed, yarn ball bounces. I don't know. I think I do want to try going for a yarn ball bounce range build. Whoa, the music here got doofy. But yeah, we've got all these uh, dudes that are firing shots at me. Let's see. Increase skill damage. Pins in the direction you're aiming. I'm just gonna go skill damage on that. I think we'll still get the dash, but I'm gonna try and up my yarn ball today. Okay. Yeah, that is style and substance. So one extra charge, not a bad idea. We do have the bouncing yarn. Yeah, I might as well grab an extra charge of it. I just don't know if I want to do the uh, the zappy build that I usually do with this. Or if I want to try something slightly different. Uh, ooh, pointy pins. It doesn't have a combo move, but it's a good range hit. Oh, that's that's actually really solid. I just want to see if I can go for more of like a range build today. Uh, chance of blocking the attack, more style and substance, sewing journey, reaping cloth. Okay, extra charge, additional attack speed. So we're looking for the ruler. Weapon and skill damage by 10%, crit chance by 10%, sure. And I should probably remember to put my sewing needles on. Let's see. I should remember to put these on autocast. There we go. Number of bounces two additional times. More quick hands. Let's go. Let's just keep going for those bounces. Hopefully I can increase my damage. I'm actually quite curious if... I'm actually quite curious if the basic auto attack is considered a skill. Let's see. Radius. Nah. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going for attack speed here. Looks like the boss is probably going to be based on these weird blue slimes though. because my one problem with the yarn balls is they don't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, does not reduce for every bounce anymore. That is quite useful. I'm not even I'm not even sure if it should ever reduce. To be entirely honest, decrease skill cooldown, admittedly by like 5%, or explode when they bounce the maximum number of times. Let's go for that. I'm digging the music for this section, though. Okay, increase dodge speed. Extra charge. I guess I'm just gonna try and max out the basic style and substance, maybe. I just, I don't know if there's anything fun at the end of the line with those. Let's see, lightning bolts happen on ground needles created by dodging, dealing, yeah, it's really good. We do need this though. It'll show up again. I just want to potentially start getting that bonus damage. Oh, 
red bat. Let's see what else we have. I think level four might be the upper limit. Okay, then I have to be careful. Because I can, in fact, run out of dodges. Though those lightning bolts are uh, satisfyingly huge. Keep kind of working on some of these. That's yeah, six. Oh, and we get a chest. Chest has precise measurements. Oh boy, is that crit damage like really high? It might be. Okay, number of uses of the skill. Two additional bounces. I'm gonna go for pointy pins. So, level f ow. Ow. Level, level four is not, in fact, the upper limit, as I assumed. We're only a third of the way done. I gotta be better at paying attention to how many dodge dodges I have left. This is not that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay, just stay away from the bats. They're not that fast. And yeah, I think we should probably get that electrify thread skill. I don't know how viable it really is. But we seem to have quite a lot of threads hooked up here. Oh, I'm not sure why it lag spiked on me. And unfortunately, those enemies exploding into uh, spike bits is going to be a bit of an issue. The That's actually really tempting. I'm going to have to remember to grab it. But if I'm going to be dashing around, it might not be a bad idea. Effectively just living battering ram. I don't think it actually like stops or slows any, any enemies down. Uh, let's go for the magnetic radius. Because I've been feeling my pickup radius is a little on the slight side. Right. I was going to... Yep. Be very afraid for a hot second here. Okay, I want to turn this on auto. Chance of not consuming a charge. Sure. Let's be even sillier. Okay, I just have to worry about them a little bit. Because those spike blobs go off when I pass through them. Okay, what do we want? Cutting Excellence, Button Mayhem, and Reaping Cloth have a chance of inflicting curse. Oh, that's... I mean, I guess Button Mayhem's in there. It's a temptation. We might want to grab Shocking Threads, though. Yeah. It's just too good, man. I guess I gotta remember to keep dashing around, just so we have a supply of threads in the area. Oop. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, I think we will get plenty of heals over time. Yeah, in fact, we've already healed straight up to full somehow. Yeah, my problem is when I run out just at the most inopportune time. There we go. So here's the question. Yes. So that extra 10% damage does, in fact, include... Uh, let's see. That extra 10% damage does include my bouncing yarn balls. I still am not super keen on their damage. Seems like it's weirdly hard to get that up. Rotate for longer? Yeah. Sure, what hit me there? Probably spikes from one of these dudes. I guess the thing is, what I should probably do mostly is just chill and stay away from enemies. I'm gonna go for the magnet radius. Okay, chest has. Probably no health. Yarn bounces. Honestly, I actually do not like the um, chance not to use my dash. It's throwing my metrics off because I can't, I don't develop any kind of internal count. I guess what I should do is just mash the button until I'm done, but even then, two additional pins are thrown. Yeah, like right there, I landed right next to an enemy and just as it came off cooldown, because I had one too many. Not that big of a deal, but it's one of those that it's probably the primary reason why I take damage. I guess what I should probably do is just stop at certain points. I don't actually know. Oop. Found the boss. Yeah, let's go for that duration. Alright, I'm back up to full health. That's a good sign. I'm not too worried about this boss. Oh, but we do have a mid-boss and a boss. Is that not the boss? Is this guy the boss? One immediate problem is I'm not particularly uh, in control over my plans here. I think this might be the actual boss. And the previous dude was just a greater threat. Let's just keep a bit of distance. Alright, there he goes. Yep, that was in fact the boss. Well, we got a decent amount of materials. Can I check the map? No. And the problem is I know the farmer's on or after 6B. Oh. Hidden chest. I don't know what that that is. Unfortunately, that wasn't the right direction. 
Oh, I guess let's go this direction. Do we uh swap it out? Play somebody else? Yeah, sure. I'll do the sculptor. My track record with him is a little dodgy, but I do like him. I still think this sculptor is probably the most interesting of the characters. Yeah, I don't want the moon. I guess I'm just gonna go for the chisel range. At least for now. There we go. Bear wasn't bad. If I remember right, the bomb was actually really good. Yeah, because the bomb just auto explodes. So I can kind of use it a little bit more freely as kind of a means of dealing with these guys. There we go. Bomb explodes after half a second. Crit chance. I just, I know the moon is it. Oh, wait, hold up. Statues explode before vanishing. That actually is really good. I might just want to put the bombs on auto, to be honest. Okay, those two together are actually pretty good. I'm just going to put the bombs on auto. I don't think... Yeah, let's move them over here, too. Uh, let's see. Sculpt impacts of capable of sculpting an additional statue. One second cooldown. Let's see. Damage of all wood. Area of effect of all marble statues. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to go for a sculpt reaction just because. I want to see if I can get it so that my bombs will actually set things on fire. Oh, weird. Yeah, maybe I should probably just put everything on auto and just deal with it. Do protective shield, empress, feathers in every direction. We don't have the bear. Could get it. Enemies killed by sculpt impacts generated from wood statues explode. Oh, let's see, he's got stunning debris. Oh, that's that's how I got volatile creations. Cause I don't, I don't hate the bear. All right, uh, let's see. Moon's allure does damage. And we might want to just put every... I have mixed feelings about putting everything on auto. There we go. Well, I mean, on the plus side, I can pretty much... Oh. Oh. It summons uh, let's see it summons a moon that goes around it and yeah the uh my structures exploding when they go off is actually super helpful 
We might need the magnet range, though. I don't want that one. I think we want the bear. Okay. Let's see. Additional holy pillar at random around itself. Critical chance, number of attacks it will do. Let's go for that extra range. I'm just gonna kind of chill for a hot second. A lot of EXP that was left behind. Ow. Okay. Yeah, let's go for the magnet radius. Some of these other ones would be lovely, but I'm having trouble. Let's see. Powerful attack? Nah. And you know what? We're just throwing it all on auto. All of it. I just, I can't be that focused. I have to stay away from the moon because it actually can kill me. And so it's better for me to just have sh sheer statue chaos going on. Which is working like a thousand times better. Because they're all synced up now, ish. They're kind of synced up. If they get unsynced, it becomes more of a problem. Okay, that attack speed might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna go for Elemental Masters for the time being. What I'd like to do- ow. What I'd like to do is figure out if the bomb can sculpt. Because, yeah, if I can actually get it to the point where the bomb is capable of doing sculpting hits, uh, that would change some things. Nope, I'm just dead. Dang. Yeah, too much chaos. I think we need to stay away from the moon. It's a little unfortunate. Okay, what do we want to try? Increase your weapon attack. It's not bad. I don't know, let's go for the collection idol. Oh, the con collection idol is just automatic. Well, that's kind of nice. I like the destruction idol, too. Okay, sculpt reaction, bear. Go for the chisel impact. Well, that was good. Maybe the answer is the... Well, I don't know. Uh, let's see, it mobilizes all enemies. I do like Elemental Masters. I will give it credit there. Alternatively, why don't we go for the tree?
Yeah, the tree and some attack speed. Because I think that tree is actually kind of wildly underrated. Okay. Let's see, additional holy pillar. Let's go for the destruction idol. Oh, I think I'm taking some damage here. I might have just barely gotten out of it. That was a big hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of chuck these here. I can see very much the moon and the... Let's see, increases the AoE. Tempting. I think I'm gonna go for the attack speed, though. Just because we're having a little bit of trouble getting some of these things. Increase the AoE. What is this? Weapon and skill damage by 10%. Eh, like crit chance in some of these would be really nice. Let's see, and that's a weapon attack. Nah, I'll just do bigger collection radius. Okay, but I just have to be careful. I love the sculptor, but he's certainly uh, the riskier boy. Does a lot of damage though. Okay, even more attack speed. This also would like supremely vulnerable. Two ranged attacks. I just want to see what's the what's at the end of some of these. I'm hoping the there's an upgrade as part of the tree that gives it a little bit of damage. Because, boy, that is a pretty large-scale AoE. There was a tree upgrade in there. Huh, the chest is weirdly limited right now. Yeah, I'll just keep working on my chisel upgrades for a bit. And not having to worry about the... or picking up stuff is actually super nice. Okay, do we want bear? What I want is the sculptor statue. But I haven't seen it go by. Okay, these special effects are scaring me. Yeah, let's go for skill cooldown. Seeing as we've got two that are actually very much... Or two that very much benefit. Be afraid of the bat. It's a health... It's a healthy fear. And I guess... Considering everything, we could try going for the moot. And eh, now, there it is. There. Now I got a buddy that'll help me finish all of these statues. We can just kind of live in this statue commune. Everything is explodey. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, 
Spikes that inflict bleeding and immobilize enemies. Oh, 2% chance of healing one health for every enemy hit. That actually is kind of nice. So the bleed just seems to be a damage booster, which is not as good as I was hoping it would be, but whatever. Go there, scoot, hide. Yeah, we might want to just get the uh, the marble goddess statues for that AOE. Let's see, chance to stun enemies, tempting. I don't know if it fully is gonna help us. At least I can just hang out back here. Oh, where are my bomb upgrades? The other question is, I wonder if I should actually just live in a corner. Okay, area of effect of all marble statues. Yeah. If we get the goddess statue upgrade, I'm going for it. Because I think we have what? Actually, yeah, most of my most of my things are marble statues. Yeah, I'm hoping with that with that uh, bleed effect. Let's see, none of you are marble. I don't think I need the crit chance. Boy, that chest has just got some range to it. Ooh. Okay, that hit a lot of them. Duration of all of them. Nerve effect of the sculpt impact when hitting a statue. Yeah, let's go for that. I was hoping it would give me a little bit more range. It doesn't seem to have. It did a little. Wait, what? Why are you leaving me? Some of those resources just pieced out. Oh, it's a leech boss. Alright. Uh, good timing, technically. Who ignited on enemies hit. They kill the boss? Yes. Okay, that was a massive nuisance. And more attack speed. Yes. Yeah, the faster I sculpt, the faster I finish all of these things off, the better. Okay. I think I just need to kill this plant. Oh, when sculpting, 10% chance of instantly completing it. There we go. That gets rid of a nuisance. Yeah, I'm, I'm legitimately curious. If, if I were to live in a corner, would that actually be a better system? Unfortunately, we don't quite have the AoE here. So bats can still get at me. There's a lot of explosions going on. And so if we can get the Marble Goddess statue especially. Let's see, Holy Pillar in front of itself. Uh, you know what, actually, oh, cooldown of that long. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Because it does have the potential of healing me. And it might just last for an obscenely long time anyway. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, let's go for the duration of all marble statues. I don't know if I can get that defensive field to last, like, half 100% uptime, but that certainly would be ideal. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to get to the farmer today. Which is a little bit of a sad. Let's see. Duration they're immobilized for, area of effect, movement speed, and val ooh, value. I mean, considering it's how I'm picking up almost all of these resources, 20% extra value is worth it. Hopefully that'll be worth at least a couple levels. Okay, because we're not we're not done yet. How's my health looking? My health is looking great. The sculpty boy is back there. Okay, reduce the interval. Increase the AoE. Now, let's work on self-portrait. He might be able to do some interesting things. What I still mostly want to find out is if there's some interesting bomb effects. I guess we got the burn. Which is pretty interesting in and of itself. Okay, they're mobilized further. There we go. Yeah, we want to stay within range of the shield statue. There it is. Marble in, uh, interaction, uh, two marble in all of its interactions, amount of hits complete, increases to five, but holy area that sticks around it for a while. And one of my biggest issues, the bats that specifically sneak up on me. There's no like leftover statues. that I have to go back for, right? I hope not. The one unfortunate part about the trees, they really do keep a lot of enemies just very far away from me. Let's go with nature's embrace. Oh, it does actually do damage to them. I guess it's nice to have a confirmation on that one. Okay, amount of statues you can have active at a time by one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It seems like going for full tower defense here and just barely moving. And just hanging out in Towersville. Oh, there was a bat hiding in the midst of it. It's fine. I think we'll get we'll get the opportunity to heal. We just did. Because yeah, the tree roots have a two percent chance of healing me, but then the shield aura also has a chance of healing me. And so stacking all of those up is uh, kind of nice. Damage of all marble statues by 50%. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'd like that extra AoE, but... Okay, we've got a boss over there. Unfortunately, I'm losing access to my healing. I'm pretty much just going to have to hang out next to this guy, vaguely within range. While just sculpting in his general direction. Yeah, I just have to finish those off. 
and get a little closer. There he goes. That actually worked really well. I didn't have any good statues to really hurt him. So I just kind of had to deal with it. Bit of a shame, but it's fine. Nice moonwalk to the finish there. Uh, let's see, 4A. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to do a fair bit if I want to get my hands on the farmer. It's unfortunate. I was hoping to do an another video on them. Well, I guess I'll keep plugging away at it. We might just uh, bring back Crafty Survivors for kind of the weekends, do a couple of episodes, unlock the farmer, do a couple more. I really like this game in small bursts. It's not the kind of game I think I really would enjoy for, like, long periods of time. Uh, if only because... I mean, I think it mostly boils down to the character's individual builds are kind of just... They're okay. Uh, let's see. Can I not invest more than this? It looks like 5,000 is the upper limit. Ah, that's fine. You know, there's not quite, quite enough randomization between each of their abilities. Ooh, this one would be really good. I still can't do that one yet. What about this one? Oh, yeah. 3% crit chance is doable. I should probably go back to some of the T1s, though, and so you get a bit more EXP, too, but... Eesh. Unlock wood gathering. Oh. That might be worth it. And we can get these resources in the forest, too. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Crafty Survivors. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. See you next time. I don't know. Outros are hard. I am tired. <laughs>